minus. That is minus. What ultimately happened to this? Ashley's in their group too. Okay, that's minus. That was my own group. Okay. All right. What else happened ultimately with this case? What happened to Johnson and Johnson? Go ahead, Tracy. Your group hasn't answered yet. That's minus three. Okay, Brown. Can we move on? I know. Oh, but it's actually like held like like even though the issue did happen to the person and they did die, but because the FDA had approved of it because of their expertise, they weren't held they weren't held liable because they have that kind of power through the center. The power that they have that nobody has gotten is called preemption. And since they have that expertise, they can preempt the field. And as I believe Sam had said before, if they've got this expertise, if they don't catch it, nobody else would. The government was not held liable in reference to this. Johnson & Johnson was not held liable in this, even though there actually was a little bit of funny business. One, two, three. Go ahead, hit it, Matt. Pick me a category. We've got to go fast. Um, court, courts for five. Courts for five. Finally. Yes. All right, who's drawing for your group? Me. Come on up. <laughs> Hang on, Brian. Let me pull this up. All right. I'm going to give you a minute on this. Okay. Your group's got it. They can say whatever they want to say in this minute. Come on down here. I'll give you the marker. Okay. You can't say anything. Can't write any words or anything. I just need you to draw this thing with one minute. You guys can guess as much as you need to, wrong, right, whatever, but you gotta say it exact, and if you get it, then you, you get the, 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 the list all you can. First hand I see afterwards, if they don't get it in that minute, has got it next. So, with this in mind, we'll start, and that's what I need. Got it? Go, now, on the 11. Uh, mm. <laughs> Got to start drawing. Four, three, two, one, go, Matt. Uh, 
Jerry Falwell. One, two, three, four, five. Who was the other person at issue? Ah, I know that. Go. Larry Flint was, and what Flint basically was the publisher of Hustler Magazine, Falwell, as they said, was the televangelist. What was the ad? Basically, it said that he slept with his mother. It insinuated that he had slept with his mother and that they kicked the goat out first, but in the front it said something to satire and something like that. Okay, Jordan, you actually said this before. I'm going to give you this one, two, three, four, five. The whole idea about sex with the mother in the outhouse. You're right, though. There was a clearly labeled what on uh, of this section? Satire. Clearly labeled satire in the 20-page section of the magazine, and where else? On the bottom of the ad in small print. Was any of this true? No. Why did Falwell sue? Because he felt for emotional... Duress? Okay. Yeah, basically he's running him through the mud. Why did the court hold? One, two, three, four, five, and there were about three things on this. You've got it next, but y'all have it now. He's a personal figure, and he should be subject. A public figure. Public figure should be subject to the negative and positive. Of okay, as a public figure, you accept the limelight, you accept both the positive and the negative, so you can't just sue because somebody says something about you. What else? Tell me more. What about the fact that it was not true? Because it was clearly indicated, no reasonable person would have thought that this was true about Falwell. Tell me more. And then they upheld the freedom of What amendment was that? Four, three, two. Which one? It was actually the First Amendment. Anything else you want to tell me? Okay, Elaine, you've got it next. Anything else you want to add? Anything else you want to add, John? Okay, you got it. Take the board. Uh, uh, Hit it, Matt. Three points for a president. I think it was five points. Oh, okay. Three points. Okay, go. Got another Pictionary. Who's drawn? <laughs> Same rule as before, Josh. This is what I need. One minute. Here you go. That's what I need you to draw. Okay. All right, starting now, Josh, go. One minute on mic 10. <laughs> on mic 10. On mic 10. I can write. Yeah, not, not words, just pictures. Oh, baby. Oh, my God, it's a sperm. No, no, no. As a person? No. You can write when they say it. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. It is sperm. She, she did, she did say it. You, you can't write when they say it. Stephen, zoom in on this. This is really... Pornography is the next chapter, Josh. Okay, got 10 seconds. She's talking to you. No. Keep going, no, no, keep going. Oh, but that's not a bad answer. They can guess whatever they want, as long as it's within the minute. All right, time's up, I need an answer. Breastfeeding, no, I'm sorry, it's not breastfeeding. It's not breastfeeding. First hand I see. It is a little bit hard on that. Actually, you know what, we've already covered this one. The topic was supposed to be baby shampoo. Me? Which would have been? <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, hit it, Matt. Pick me a category, Josh's group. You guys still have it. Uh, gotta go, gotta go. Courts for one. Courts for one. Original jurisdiction, appellate jurisdiction. First hand I see. Go ahead, Duran. Uh, appellate jurisdiction cases are decided or undecided are sent up to the Supreme Court for the review. Okay, appellate jurisdiction means that the Supreme Court is exercising its review. What is original jurisdiction? Uh, the Supreme Court will, um, will be the first court to hear the case. They will be the first and oftentimes the only court to hear this. Which one is it that the, the Supreme Court uses most? Is it original jurisdiction or appellate jurisdiction? No. Appellate. appellate jurisdiction, absolutely. Hit it, Matt. Pick me a category, guys. Scores to Ron's group, 32. 